Hello everyone. I'm inside the back of the coach. I have since got the arms back up and sitting straight on both sides. I have a 2x4 that I cut and it's going in between the trailing arms to hold it stiff better than the rod that I bent before. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Let me pull it down and get it down here so you can see it. This is what's left of the rod that bent <laughs> that I had between the wheels. It worked for several years, but when the decided to go, it was just not strong enough to hold and it bent. So this will not bend. I just need to put a brace going from here straight up along here so that this will hold it from going this way and then one over on this side doing the same thing from down here straight up and so it'll hold it from kicking this way and then I'll run one resting across the top of both the wheel wells and that'll support it. Now so you understand it doesn't matter what's happening back here even if it gets all damaged. Somebody put a piece of steel against aluminum, bolted it in with a couple bolts up top so it's not sitting close to here where it should. Um, and it never should have had the steel in it to begin with. And then they mounted these arms on here and they used some Mickey Mouse um, uh, struts from down here coming up. And when everything broke, it just damaged everything in here. I've shown it before. You'll have to go look at my other video, but it cracked and broke this. It's Let me get this out of the way. It split and broke this back here. So all this from here back, from this point back, top and bottom, all has to come out. Then we'll put a big piece of aluminum in here, mount it to this piece underneath and through, make it very strong. Then we'll get new pieces of this, either the same height or taller depending on how the engine's going to sit and uh, we'll replace both of these going back and then we'll build off of that structure the wheel well the way we need it for this particular application do all the stuff above the window locate it where we want do all this and get rid of all the bad fiberglass back here behind me I'm sitting down I don't want to get up <laughs> so I'm lazy and uh, like I said this is just a little pocket video recorder little bit bigger than a business card it has no options on it you turn it on you record or you just watch what's on here that's all you can do um, I can zoom in and zoom out um, and that's it there's nothing else to do with this so that's why it vibrates so much when I walk and things like that because it doesn't have that um, what is that called I remembered it the last time and now I can't think of it this is what happens when you slip and fall on your head and damage it and uh, people say what is it called the um, head injury clinic in Ottawa says that it's like a boxer's injury you've you've short-circuited things and your brain just doesn't work the way it used to um, a motion um, thing for uh, vibration and stuff so uh, this doesn't have that so that's why this does what it does um, let me also show you in here if I can get in here with a decent shot the bushings are all worn out and they don't have the metal sleeve in them and that's why this arm tilted on its side and bent the way it did it's not perfectly straight it is not something I would ever use to go on the road um, with but because I'm only using it to roll the vehicle around on the property that's all I care about I don't know if you can see this well enough but all the rubber right from my finger down to here is all missing on this one just all rotted out and the arms are rusted and weak anyways and they're not the style um, they're not a complete arm like should be used on an altar van. An altar van has a welded part that comes off of here where my hands at comes over and mounts at another point so these two points pivot together at the same time almost like an A-frame and that's what supports it from kicking in and out um, like I said somebody put this on here put an engine back in it ran it for a while until things broke and the tire came up and bulged the wheel well housing real bad split and buckled this um, sent the uh, propane tank in like a torpedo into here and damaged all this so uh, it's all coming out anyways but um, that's what happens let me get in here and do what I was doing I'm getting sidetracked um, I have some uh, 
ratchet ties. I'm gonna either hook them on to where the bolts go for the strut and tie them across, or I'm gonna wrap them around the A-frame here, completely across, and pull it in, just to keep this from falling out, so I can take this out. And then when I have time, I'm gonna drill a bolt a hole, um, put a bolt through to hold this so it doesn't move at all, and that way the arms can't shift, and this will hold, and then finish doing this. But my back is killing me from something I did several days ago, I heard it, and uh, so I only do a little bit per day, and then I stop. So this is what I'm doing today is uh, just finishing this up. I had the wheel sitting up straight. I cut this today. Um, I rebent this back um, as best I could. Um, I don't know if you can tell it, but it is. Let's see if I can get under here. Um, it really bent this bad, these threads on here. There's, um, can't fix that, but it's in here to hold as best as it can. And uh, so I'll tighten this all up and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Um, can't set this down and show me doing it. So, uh, And I don't think you want to watch me doing all that. So we'll talk at you later. Thanks for checking in on this project. I really do appreciate it. I don't take the time to always say so. But uh, it is nice to share things with other people. Get feedback. And I uh, want to hear about your projects as well. So let me know. We'll talk at you later. Take care. Bye.